Edna Insurance sued for denying gender-affirming care. A class action lawsuit claims Aetna violated federal non-discrimination laws. The plaintiffs argue Aetna's refusal breaches the Affordable Care Act's protections for gender identity. The lawsuit that was filed in Connecticut highlights Aetna excludes facial surgeries deemed medically necessary for gender dysphoria, even though the company covers these, these same procedures for other conditions. One plaintiff, Bina Gordon, had to pay $35,000 out of pocket while another faced $50,000 in costs. A third plaintiff, Kay Mayers, has been unable to afford the surgery. Explaining the importance of the procedure, Gordon said the lawsuit could help people envision asking for their needs to be met. Lawyer Gabriel Arcos stressed that facial surgeries can impact safety. Your face is so visible. It's one of the first ways people will try to identify what gender you are. Despite Aetna spokesperson Alex Kempness stating that the company is committed to supporting the LGBTQ community, the plaintiffs allege Aetna discriminates against transgender patients by, leading, by labeling these procedures as cosmetic. This case comes amid growing pressure on insurers regarding gender affirming care, supported by medical groups like the American Medical Association. The plaintiff's lawyers argue Aetna's policy creates barriers to essential health care for transgender individuals, affecting more than 70,000 people across the U.S. Um, you know, uh, I think about the many, many black and brown um, people, transgender individuals who may rely on these type of surgeries to be able to, um, you know, to, to feel comfortable in the body that they, that they, that they um, are destined to be, to be comfortable in. Excuse me. Um, stumbling over that but you know denying them coverage and calling it a cosmetic is just such mm. uh it's it's really insulting um because these surgeries cost a lot of money um and we of course we know that uh people who can afford to just drop thirty five thousand dollars do not look like me and do not look like the many people um that are apart that are across the, the america um so i think that you know uh to say that you support lgbtq community um verbally but not showing that in your in your in your um coverage is is just lip service well said i mean part, i mean just touche i also like we know how disproportionately uh, violence and discrimination affects trans people, especially trans people of color. Mm -hmm. That's not cosmetic, right? Like right, that right. is mental health right. and, and actual and physical health yeah. and safety. Mm -hmm. To say that this is cosmetic is, is just transphobia, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's no question about it. And calling it just cosmetic as well is just like, you know, it, it's hurtful for the trans community. Mm -hmm. And, you know, trans people, they don't, like wake up one day like hey i just want to be trans for fun like mm -hmm. right. it's not it's something that is a part of them mm -hmm. and it, yeah it hurts a lot that it's they extraordinarily difficult to begin with to undergo like that is the the uh, people just imagine just like walk into a doctor's office and like this you know like th it's almost like there's more nuance in like an episode of family guy than mm -hmm. like you know than there mm -hmm. is an actual real life. Uh, well right. said nico like mm -hmm. that is like this is it's it's years and years of 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 a lot of counseling, a lot mm -hmm. of a lot of internal and external assistance, like the absolutely. Well, let's yeah. let's also, you know, I'm thinking about this in terms of a re of a, a reality issue. I mean, I agree 100 percent with what everyone is saying here of the importance of it, but the whole issue of transgenderism has begun in the last five or six years. It's a new topic. It's not a 40 year old conversation. It's not an 80 year old conversation. It's a relatively new topic. We just had a story where Connecticut is being so welcome into the gay community. I am hoping that as important as this lawsuit is, that the insurance company will realize how they have missed the opportunity to do the right thing. And instead of fighting the lawsuit, they'll make the changes that are necessary because there's always that first lawsuit. It sounds like this is that lawsuit. Mm. So I'm hoping as troubling as it is, and as difficult as it is for those people who want and need that surgery, mm. I'm hoping that this is the only time we have to go through that hurdle mm. and we can sit here and say, okay, we've learned our lesson because everyone has to learn about transgenderism. We have to have that conversation with everybody. Trans people have been using the yeah. courts to, to, to gain rights mm -hmm. and easily. But the this is the first. And 70s okay, yeah. but I'm just saying, but it's become a political issue in the last five or eight years. So it's be on the I forefront. It's than yeah, that. yeah. And I'm not it, denying the history. Yeah. I'm not denying the history whatsoever, but I'm just saying it's an everyday conversation. And that's where we are right now. And I mean, I mean, it's an important conversation, mm -hmm. but I am hoping that Aetna will stand up and say, you know what? You're right.
this shouldn't be, we're going to make the changes and these people have the rights to have their surgeries. Well, maybe not in my lifetime, but someday we may actually live in a country where evil and deplorable insurance companies aren't denying care while raking in the bucks. Wow. Yes. That's something That's we can all agree yeah. on. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I know my insurance premium is high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I do think this is, and I'm hoping that the importance of this conversation mm -hmm. and the importance of this lawsuit will help break the barriers for all of the other states. Mm -hmm. And it's an important conversation for, that is, this is the LGB as well. Like, that is, like, mm -hmm. for them to kind of stand up with our trans brothers and sisters, with our gender nonconforming friends, like, to say, like, this is, you know, just because one of us receives uh, health care, right, that we have to make sure that we all do. Right? Exactly. Exactly. And we paying for it. And <laughs> also that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.